Hello, guys. I'm just trying to get my chat up. Hopefully, you guys can hear me if you're there. Okay, thank you very much. I was worried I wasn't there. Hello. Okay, so you guys can hear me okay. It looks like there's a couple people starting. Um, I didn't do too much prep. Um, I was a little bit under the weather and I didn't know how I was going to. I, I, it's a miracle I'm actually up and working anyways. Um, but this pumpkin is actually going to be very simple. Hey, Nikki. Um, Fraulein, I, I'm sorry. I can't read some of this. I don't have my glasses on and my migraine's just too bad right now. I can see some of it. Uh, Karen, hi. Um, anyhow, uh, so this is just a quick pumpkin that I picked up at Hobby Lobby um, or maybe Michael's. Looks like maybe Michael's. It's just a ceramic pumpkin. Um, it's a cookie. It's a, not a cookie dish, a candy dish. The only thing that I did was I added a bit of lace on top, and that was just so I could. Um, I didn't want to have to worry about this drying on camera, so I just cut a bit of this lace off. And this is um, this lace is actually from Renee's bouquet. Uh, it's actually really pretty lace. Um, but that is where it came from. And I just cut this top circle out here and put it here. And then I cut this part here and just wrapped it around the pumpkin. And I did that ahead of time so it would dry. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get going. Like I said, this is going to be pretty simple. I probably might even finish before my time is up. But since I haven't gone... Uh, live in a while. I wanted to make sure that I did something kind of simple. So this is pretty simple. I um, hope you guys will forgive that. But I'm just going to go ahead and take some gesso. So I'm going to use some heavy body black gesso. And I'm going to start painting this. And hopefully I can see. I see Belinda and Nelly and Anya and Anne and Tiffany. Hi guys. Sky Blue Hippie, Nicole. Oh, you guys are sweet. What would I do without friends like you? So I'm not going to worry about the inside of the jar, but I really don't like this orange color, <laughs> this burnt orange terracotta kind of color. Um, and I'm just going to put some gesso on here. And this is why I went ahead and did the lace earlier. Because um, I could have done the black gesso earlier, but I don't know. I knew I was going to fight with the lace a little bit more and I wasn't sure how it would turn out. So I figured you'll just have to watch me paint this. And then I'll stick it over in front of the fan. But actually, I should be painting the top first. Um, I don't know how I'm really going to follow Nellie's you know, highly technique pumpkin with this little easy peasy thing, but you know. <laughs> Nelly always has the coolest things. I'm a little more safe and easy kind of girl there. But that's what's good about our mix of people. We got a bunch of different people and all different kinds of things and God knows what Linda and Ogle will have up for you next. Um, I do have my bot set up to do that. But if not, I can do it in a few minutes. It's funny. It looks better black than it did the terracotta, in my opinion. Ah, oh, Nicole, you're sweet.
I did have a little bit of gel medium on here and I tried to sand this pumpkin up a little bit, but I probably need to steal another piece of sandpaper from my husband's stash because mine I think is not nearly as rough as it should be. You know, you know, rummage through the husband's supplies when he's not looking, which is hard since he hasn't left the building because of COVID. <sighs> yeah, big sigh. Okay. Put that in front of my fan. Uh. And as long as I cover this pretty good, I should be able to get away with just one coat, I'm pretty sure. Because I'm not going to add anything really big to this. And you'd be surprised, honestly, how much texture, just that little bit of gel medium I have on there and um, the lace and this gesso. I mean, it's not a really big pumpkin to begin with, so it's not like it needs a lot. Sometimes less is more, and I think that's something that we all forget sometimes, especially with our assemblage and collage and all that jazz. All that jazz. As long as I don't start singing to you guys, I guess it's okay. Well, I'm not going to start singing to you. I have Metallica in my earbuds, so that would probably be gruesome. <laughs> Almost done. Sorry, I know I'm a little quiet there. Okay, so black gesso on. Put that in front of my fan. And then I'm going to work on some of my embellishments. I don't know if I was singing. I hope I wasn't singing. Now it's on Pantera. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to work with, um, maybe I should do a couple more of that. I'm going to play with this stamp set from um, Finnebar. I haven't even opened it yet. I don't even know what year it's from. 2017 and I haven't, I haven't used it. So figured, um, yeah, let's use that. Uh, so I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use this one. This is Lindsay's Gold, uh, Wake Me Up Before You Go Gold. And that would make me want to sing the Go-Go song. Okay. Now I want this to be as shimmery as possible. So I'm just gonna put this in front of my fan and not really touch it with a heat gun. My fan is working double time today. Normally it's just to, you know, help with the hot flashes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Blenda. That is like a catchy song. I, I can't have a hard time even seeing the name of the spray without thinking about it. Okay. So my next spray of color, 
I have this ribbon that Nellie and Nicole can laugh about because I literally just spent 20 minutes looking for something that was right in front of my face. Because that's what you do when you're trying to get ready to go live. Um, let's see. So let's see. I'm just going to make some ribbon for on top of the pumpkin. But I don't want it just to be this white color. I love this pattern. And I'm going to play off this pattern quite a bit. To me, I mean, I know it's just a diamond pattern. But to me, it kind of looks like Halloween. Maybe. Maybe it's just me. So... going to color this first one with uh, Witch's Potion Purple and probably a little bit of Urban Amethyst. Both Lindsay sprays. But I am going to cover my hand for this one because if not, I'll be purple all day. Yeah. It does. Oh, I almost sprayed myself. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I'll give that a dry in a second. And then I think I'm going to do the second ribbon that I cut with a bit of orange. I don't know why I'm over here wasting my paper towels. Conserve. Okay, I think I'm going to use Hogwarts orange for this one. Now your wedding dress is amazing. This one's a little red, so I'm gonna grab, well, it's a more like a burnt. Let me grab this one too. Marigold yellow orange. That'll balance it out a little bit. And then I'm going to grab a little bit more ribbon that I know I'm going to need while I'm doing this. I'm just going to use some seam binding. And this one, oh, got a little orange on that. That's okay. This one I'll use Bells of Green Ireland. And I think maybe I'll need that one. I'll see how this one looks. I want those fun, bright Halloween colors. Okay, get these ribbons dry and then I'll move on.
Maybe I'll hit that with some liquid acrylic. It's not as orange as I want it to be. But this one's pretty. Okay, let me go grab that just so I can get that out of the way. And this is just my OCD. Don't laugh at me, you guys. I just can't let some things go. That's a little brighter. Not much, but a little bit. It's hard to tell on camera. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Give this a try. And then I'll get back to the pumpkin. Keto diet. Oh, that's horrible. Why would anyone do that? I need my carbs. Well, I don't know. Like when I was young, they called it the South Beach diet, I think. I'm trying to catch up on this. And you guys are talking about diets. Oh, who wants a diet? No one needs a diet. We're caught up on Halloween candy time. Gives you energy. Well, okay, Belinda, you have to, but if you didn't have to, <laughs> I don't think that you would want to. <laughs> okay. Moving on. So this is just that watercolor paper that I sprayed first. And you can see, like, just by letting it air dry, like, the mica on it is just, whoo. You got to love your Lindsay's for that, man. It's gorgeous. Okay. Moving on. Now I have a fancy stamp thingamajigger and all that jazz. And I'm just not going to use it because... I don't like it and I don't want to and it was a lot of money that I should have probably never bought because I'm not really a stamper but that's okay I'm gonna get this little moon dude out and I'm gonna use some VersaFine ink I haven't used this before so it might take a couple tries that's why I colored so much space my mat is kind of squishy, so it um, it helps with stamping a little bit, too. <laughs> Look at that. He's so cute. Sweet. I'm going to give him a quick dry because I'm going to put him under a pebble. So I have this um, art pebble. Ooh. Okay. Just uh, this one. And it is 
I have a perfect little hole punch somewhere in this pile of crap on my desk. Oop, I just swore. Sorry. Didn't mean to. Kind of did, but not really out loud. I don't know what is with me today. I'm losing all kinds of things. If I have to cut this out, I'm going to be upset with myself. Okay, here it is. So it's a one inch punch. Matches this moon pretty good. And then I'm going to get my glossy accents. And I like this because it's going to dry fast. Well, it kind of is a swear word, Blenda, a little bit. A little bit. More than you should probably say. I don't know. Uh, my paper. My paper is mostly by color. It's in racks by color. Um, I used to, when I used to scrap book more, I used to store it by collection and by manufacturer. Um, but now that I don't make as many layouts, I uh, store it just by color. And I even go as far as to taking the paper out of collections and looking to see what the primary color is and store it by that. So you can see, like, just putting him under that pebble makes him just like pow. And all that mica. Ooh, and once that dries, ooh, it's going to be pretty. Okay. And it fits almost perfectly. Okay. I'm going to try to clean up a little bit while I'm doing this because I um, honestly... I'm not going to have much in me after this is over with. I'm probably going to go to bed and let my food cook. Put him back. Not bad. One stamp used out of a 2017 stamp set. Woohoo! That's getting productive. <laughs> it's really cute, though. I love that moth. You guys know I love my moths. Oh, Terry's back. Okay. So my pumpkin is pretty much dry. I got a little bit of that gold mica on there. And I'm just going to try and get any little spots I see peeking through. It's just my brush right out of the water. It's still sopping with paint. I just tried to add graphite paste instead of gesso. Yeah, I told you guys, like, I am not up to par. Let's see. Okay, that should be good. Okay, and I am at halfway point. I just need to start putting this all together. Give this a quick dry. What's going on? Everyone is doing pumpkins, I see. Yes, I was kind of being sarcastic in the chat, Terry, and this is what we ended up with. Hey, 
just got a lot of healthy chat going on. We're talking about good cholesterol, bad cholesterol, keto diet, insulin resistance. I mean, if anybody didn't know, like, this was a craft chat, it would be very confused. <laughs> so I got Metallica in my ears. Craft chat, craft pumpkin, and cholesterol. Now, this is a hot mess we got going on, ladies. I just got to get this little bit dry in this lace. I didn't realize how much was peeking through. Yeah, well, it's, you guys have known each other. I mean, really, I mean, not known each other, like, not in person. But if you guys think about it, you guys have been hopping and chatting since, like, what, March? You guys probably got all kinds of things to chat about. Surprised you guys haven't made your own Facebook group at this point in time. My desk is actually a kitchen table. It was my mother, it was my, well, my mother-in-law's mother. I'm going to use a little bit of this metallic golden moss um, with, uh, I'm sorry, acrylic from Finnebar. I'm going to, for the stem. See, I just come up with these random ideas when I'm not really... See what happens when I talk out loud. Okay, almost done. I have um kind of some drawers. I should probably do uh if my room is ever clean enough to do a walk around my room. I have drawers under my kitchen table on my desk on two sides. And then I have a small desk on the side that gives me my drawers. Uh, glass pebbles. This is an old jar. They don't make them this size anymore. They're, they're smaller now. They're more this size. I don't know why they did that. Um, but this one's old. But the pep you can still get the pebbles, though. Uh, the number on this one is 5564. I'll put a, once I use all my stuff, I'll, uh, everything that I use, I'll put a description box in my, uh, under my channel once it's done, if that helps you guys. Okay. Ooh, look at how pretty. Okay. Now this one has a ton of gold mica in it. So when I add a little bit of water to it, you're going to see that like go crazy. But I'm just going to paint my stem kind of roughly. Oops. Apparently I had a little bit of a bubble of gesso there. This is the things I would edit out of the video, just so you know. <laughs> Yeah, try art pebbles. Um, that might come up. I know that I saw them at Retro when I was shopping the other day, and I know that um, I know that they're at scrapbook.com too. But try art pebbles. You can buy the um, the cheaper kind of things at Michaels, but they have like a little bit of a different hue to them a little bit so you don't get that crystal clear if you want to do something like I did with this stamp if that makes sense so I'm just going to try and move this around a little bit I just kind of want the green to go down a little bit and 
I don't want such hard lines. There you go. Okay. So on this, I am going to, I should have got these out. I think I'm going to use them for that. And some of that. add some white gold but that's in the other room because it is it's in the photo shoot oh my goodness okay so I'm going to start with some firebird and it's going to pick up that lace that I put on there That's actually, that storage bin works good for the wax bin. Um, then I'm going to go a little bit heavier at the top and just lightly across the bottom. A little heavier at the top, drag it down just a tiny bit. See, and it's picking up all those streaks in the um, the gesso and the gel medium that I had on there. I know, like, I didn't really do anything, but the wax is making it look, woohoo! The wax just, I mean, honestly, it makes... If you are not a crafter or never tried anything, it'll make your projects look like you've been doing this for years. But I'm just trying to get like a light coat. Because I don't want it to be all orange. I mean, honestly, that's the biggest problem that I have with the waxes is trying to remember to stop. <laughs> Because, you know, it's, it's so easy to just, oh, it's so pretty. Keep going. Keep going. And then your whole project is just wax. Oh, some of my gesso wasn't dry. We'll just cover that up. See, look, wax to the rescue. You can see that little lace in there. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to use white gold on top. I'm going to skip the aged brass, but it's in the other room. So I'm going to wait a few minutes and get a little bit further ahead. Because, you know, I made the mistake of bragging that, oh, my project is easy and it's going to be done super fast. And ha 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 ha, here I am. Half hour to go and I'm still... Playing around. <laughs> okay. So I don't want to mix um, my orange with the, but I want it to match a little bit more. 
So I'm going to focus on the edge here and on this lace. But I'm not going to go too much on top of that green, if that makes sense. Most of my lights shine up. I don't know if you guys are getting a crazy glare. Sorry, I missed that comment. Uh, yes, I used golden moss. I don't know. It's golden moss. I can't get it to focus, but that's what it is. Oh boy, guys, there's a song in my ear that I'm just dying to sing now. <laughs> okay. Let's see, it's going to be. Okay. I am not singing it, Nellie, which. <laughs> okay. Let me get some of this off my hands before I ruin my ribbon. Shading is hard. Shading is hard with wax. Shading is hard with drawing. I mean, it's just all about a light touch. And, you know, just remember, like, less is always easier because you can always add more, but you can't really take it off. You can. I mean, there's you can always fix something, but it's harder to fix than the other way around, if that makes sense, Karen. Okay. So going to use the orange on the bottom smaller okay and then I'm going to do the purple one Bunny ears cross over. <laughs> and I would normally go back and fix that with my little, you know, situations, but I'm going to leave it be because it's going to get covered with that pebble anyhow. Okay. And then I'm going to use a little bit of this. Okay, I need a pair of sharper scissors. For this one, I want to pinch it this way.
Get a little banner in there. No, can't really see it. Okay. Now, this is the one reason why I hate making like videos for 3D projects because like you can only see half of it and then I don't know I got to figure that out get some side angles going but then you guys see like <laughs> God knows what you guys would see that that'd be horrible <sighs> hi Crystal okay so I know I could totally use hot glue, but let's be real. Like I would be dangerous with that. So I'm going to take a needle. And I'm going to poke that right through there. And then I'm going to poke that right through there. And I'll put this one on top. And I'll go back and put this one here. Guys, uh, if you know me, you know how I feel about hot glue. Like, it is my nemesis. I hate it. it everything falls apart afterwards. And now I'm hating my thread, too. Oh, come on. I did so good threading this ahead of time. Okay, here comes the swear word, Blenda. <laughs> okay. One more time. Start at the bottom, Lynette. Sorry, I'm missing the chat, you guys. I don't want to puncture myself. <laughs> okay. And then I'll go right back through. Sewing 101. You can tell I am not a seamstress. There we go. Woo! You would think that that was like brain surgery or like some kind of stitches. <laughs> okay. And I'll put a drop of glossy accents in there to hold that all together. But I just didn't want it to fall apart while I was doing this. Then he's going to sit right there. And I'll add some glue and I'll hold it in place with hot glue. Oh, I hate hot glue, you guys. Hate it, 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 hate it. For those of you who want to know what's in my ear, I have rock lobster going on in my ear. This is, this is like my workout mix. <laughs> uh. 
And I will trim these ribbons down in a minute. But I just want to get this on here. Oh, the double hot glue. Now I'm just trying to get my ribbons facing the way I want. And trimming them appropriately. something on it it did not want to cut <laughs> oh if you heard my videos oh my oh it would be well i i couldn't share them in public <laughs> When I'm silent like this, it's because I'm swearing in my head. And you guys, I honestly, I could swear like a sailor. I know like Nellie was giving me a hard time saying I'm all prim and proper. But trust me, it's not really the case. And right now, I got a lot of swear words in my head. <laughs> This was supposed to be the front, and it's looking more like the back. Okay, and we're going to put him right there. Let me see this. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Let's do that. Okay, and I am at 10 minutes to go. I'm actually going to finish this maybe <laughs> since I thought it was so easy. <laughs> oh, that's what I get for talking crap. 
insert swear word there. I'm gonna regret this hot glue later, but that's okay. that down there a little bit okay hmm. okay and I'm just going to take some gel I am out of gloss gel, I think. I am. Okay. I don't want to do that. These, you guys, are just, um, I don't know, they're junk. They're, uh, I bought them for my kids during Girl Scouts for some of their Halloween crafts. They're just, um, you can find them at your craft store. They're not anything. They're not a brand, I don't think. I mean, they're just, you guys know what I mean. Like, there's just, it does have a Beetlejuice vibe to it, I guess. I like Beetlejuice. Okay, let's catch up on this. Uh, Karen, if I can find the clear ones, I will send you the link. Um, and honestly, I'm sorry, you guys. There's so much in this room. Like, I don't even know if they sell half the stuff that's in this room anymore. But I got to use it. <laughs> I just, I got to. <laughs> You can make them with clear resin, too, if you have the right mold. But I have a hard time with bubbles, so I don't know about you. Okay. Okay, that's... I'll probably trim my ribbon down a little bit. So that's my top and then I'm going to add some glitter and some beads um, but next up is uh, Oga and Belinda so that will be a riot you guys all know that let me see if I can paste this here really quick so you guys can find them um and thanks, guys, for hopping with us. I'm sorry I got a little quiet there. I was trying not to burn myself. <laughs> um, I'm going to probably keep adding some glass glitter. I'm going to add some black glass glitter. And I'm not so sure about these ones anymore. They're licorice. They're kind of like purplish. I think I might find a different one. But I'm probably going to add some microbeads, too. I have these um, purple. 
So I'm going to keep working on that. I have uh, five minutes left. Um, but so it, it, you know, it's, it's a pretty decent transformation, I think. Pretty cute. Okay, that's drying pretty good. And I'm just going to keep adding here. And I'll post my finished project once I'm done with everything. Um, you guys know I like to play with things for a little bit longer and go back and add a little bit of this and that. Thank you, Karen. That's super kind. I know sometimes I have like easier projects and they're not, you know, as detailed or crazy. So I appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I am going to put my pot roast in the oven. And then I'm going to hop on and watch Linda and Olga in bed because I am still fighting this migraine. And it is not. It's going to win, I'm afraid. No, you'll never regret the waxes. I haven't had the new ones in the tubes yet, so I'm not sure how that's going to be. I, I, I kind of like mine after they dry out a little bit, but I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go. Yeah, pot roast is so easy. Like It's like the meal that you walk away from, and it's still like, like you slaved away. <laughs> okay. I really do like the way it's turning out, though. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just like, I'm a little out of it. My head's, I've been fighting this migraine for two days now. It's not, it's not awesome. So I'm a little out of it. 